mobility he's circling all those guys he's making little fools out of them and let's go what is going on everybody how is it going welcome back to my channel welcome back to world of tanks now you have already seen a couple news episodes on my channel couple montage episodes as well one gameplay episode uh, about uh, the russian e100 a simple trick to buff any tank in this game if you haven't seen that episode go check it out it was my previous one uh, so today I decided to upload my first epic battle episode in 2019 and because all the wheeled vehicles are meta are a super hot topic at the moment I decided to show you one really fun gameplay uh, featuring EBR 75 FL10 it was actually one of the first uh, battles uploaded uh, to any any of those uh, replay sites. Uh, so this battle was played by Miruki uh, from the clan called Furr, and he was one of the few ones who was able to test the EBR-75 out publicly. All the community contributors, including me, we received EBR-75, uh, rental EBR-75 for seven days, and we also received uh, 20 goats to give away. I gave away all my seven rental goats, even though I had a chance to make my rental period seven days longer, but I knew I am not able to play super often anyway, so I decided to give away all the goats. And now why I wanted to show you this battle is uh, for one special reason, for one specific reason. Uh, Miroki is going to use almost exclusively auto aim in this battle. And you are going to see why EBR-75 is the god of auto aiming. Miroki is going to take only like couple shots throughout the entire battle without using that auto aim feature. And now if you didn't know that already, uh, all the wheeled vehicles, I think starting from, it was either tier 6 or tier 5, uh, all those wheeled vehicles come with this uh, special auto aim assistance ability. You can see special crosshair is uh, being locked on the IS-3A, uh, one of the most OP, if not the most overpowered tier 8 premium heavy tank at the moment and EBR-75 in really good position is making that IS-3 being his little bitch in front of tanks and here it goes M12 was able to pick up the kill uh, but uh, yeah to continue my sentence over there all those wheel vehicles come with a special auto aim assistance ability you simply need to aim close to the target and you are able to lock on it you are going to see that many many times uh, throughout this battle uh, for example with that AT7 or GW Panther yeah there it goes Firing on the move, using auto aim, and yet another hit, 169 damage done, and OY was able to pick up the kill, nice, nice, nice. Uh, next victim is going to be 87, which is yet another extremely easy kill for EBR-75, simply because 87's uh, hull traverse speed is not the best, so EBR-75 can simply play around with uh, that 87 despite not having uh, tracks. Because with wheels, uh, for obvious reasons, you are not able to turn your vehicle 360 while standing still. Uh, Charting got to boost, and uh, just before he released the boost, AMX 13 F3 was able to get one direct hit into him. Uh, luckily, repair kit was up, so no tracking damage, no module damage. Uh, to be worried about, uh, only stun effect, but mobility is good enough without that already. And Miroki needs that crazy mobility at the moment, because look at the base capture, three enemy tanks are capturing the base, 14, 13 seconds left, auto-aiming at KV-5 and saved the game. Whew, one shot into KV-5 and uh, 20 seconds left, one more shot left in the magazine, 40 dp, yet another auto-aim hit. <laughs> this, the amount of auto-aiming in this battle is simply crazy. Uh, luckily he was able to spot ARL-44 and uh, that other dude, Jay Banter, for the artillery and artillery this time saved the game. So many base captures, so many enemy vehicles, enemy targets, but using crazy mobility circling all the those guys he's making little fools out of them and this guy just saved the game guys 
not once, not twice, not three times, but four times. Miruke has saved the game four times already and Base Capture has been blocked. While he's circling that AMX 12T to death, ARL 44 doesn't have fast enough turret traverse speed, KV85 doesn't have enough uh, fast enough turret traverse speed and he sees the craziest situation, the funniest and I don't know how to call it situation that I have seen so far featuring EBR 75 FL10. Guys, Miruki just circled four enemy tanks at the same time alone and he won that fight. Next victim, D29. Almost full HP D29, received two RT shots already. Uh, two APCR shells left, 8 heat and 18 AG rounds. And he's carrying quite a few AG rounds because AG rounds on all those EBR vehicles are going to be really, really good. Now on EBR 75, AG has 75 millimeters of penetration, so we can actually play this tank using full AG loadout as well in nowadays world of tanks. We actually have quite a few paper vehicles. And now I guess he's trying to hunt down that artillery, really annoying artillery, another auto aim kill, boom done, easy breezy, D29 over there up on the hill receiving one shot from SG100, so what is it, it is two versus uh, two enemy vehicles versus four ally vehicles, Miruki needs one more kill for, uh, for the top gun, and in my opinion Miruki really really deserves it. Like, uh, he has saved the game, I do not even know how many times. Uh, the first time he saved the game was when he killed IS-3A, because IS-3A, I think we can all agree, is the most overpowered, or at least in, in the top two, uh, the most overpowered tier 8 premium tanks at the moment. But once again, auto-aiming at D29, sadly he wasn't able to pick up the kill, but oh well, cannot win them all, there is still one more vehicle left to kill, a tier 8 batch at 12T. So, uh, what Wargaming is saying at the moment, uh, tier 8 light tanks uh, should win every single one versus one fight versus uh, wheeled vehicles, because firepower on wheeled vehicles is not as good as on light tanks, but uh, let's see how it is done. Now, watching this battle so far, I believe we can say that Miruki has really good idea what uh, wheeled vehicles are all about, what are wheeled vehicles' strengths and weaknesses, so he's not looking face-on straight face-to-face -face fight versus uh, that batch at 12T. He's smart, he's using mobility, good positioning, he's trying to sneak behind that batch at 12T, he's trying to surprise it uh, somehow. So it seems like Patch at T is not standing still either. Uh, he's moving around. Miruki, meanwhile, being in the rapid mode, he's trying to locate it. FE 304, AK 80 Mighty Pert, and M12 are also ready. And hopefully, they are following where Miruki is going. Uh, by the way, is uh, Miruki how I have to pronounce your name? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below, if you are watching this episode, of course. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, this guy is actually quite a good modder as well. Uh, he has many, many uh, skin mods in the World of Tanks mod portal, official mod portal. I'm going to leave that link into the description as well, go check it out. He has a couple mods uh, for D49, for example, for Scorpion G, and many, many other vehicles. Vehicles, really awesome mods. Apache 12T, this is one of those shots that he didn't actually auto aim because auto aiming aims in the middle of the vehicle, but he had to give it some lead. So, smart play once again. And here is that poor mobility while standing still, especially in the rapid mode. Apache 12T this time, I think he's auto aiming. Yes, and direct hit 271 damage done with auto aiming and AG round. That doesn't have the best tail velocity. On the move now, you can simply yeah, cruise around, you can take those uh, snapshots and why EBR-75 is a really, really good vehicle to use auto aim with and while you are moving. Uh, the main reason is because it doesn't have any aiming time, 1.15 second aiming time. That means your aiming circle is almost always like fully aimed in and uh, moving accuracy is really good. Overall accuracy is not quite bad, 0.36, but if you boost it, you can easily get 
get it a lot a lot better and one more shot needed on the move to finish off this battle to pick up the kill and gg really well played battle overall i especially enjoyed that one versus four base defense situation yeah all those vehicles were lower tier vehicles but still one versus four and you were able to see ebr in action in in crazy action so let's have a look at the scoreboard and let's call it an episode a stanker for obvious reasons many many medals including high caliber top gun patrol duty confederate and defender to get defender confederate top gun high caliber this means you did a lot of work already uh, top damage done by far with six kills and close to 1850 raw experience well done, 44 shots fired in total, and I would say around 39 of those shots were with uh, auto aim. So, quite a crazy ratio. And 88,000 credits profit without a premium account, because EBR75 is a premium vehicle, tier 8 premium vehicle, and 2,438 damage to his assistants. Ladies and gentlemen, enough said, this is EBR 75 tier 8 premium wheeled vehicle, which is getting even better in the future. They are going to buff the mobility, gun and gun handling, but more about that in my tomorrow's episode, hopefully in my tomorrow's episode. I get you next time, stay awesome, take care and bye.